the break is one of, if not the most important shot you're gonna play in every single frame of pool. In this video, I'm gonna show you some of the big mistakes you're gonna to need to avoid to be able to break well. One of the big mistakes I see with players when they're breaking is they try and hit the ball too hard and they lose all control of shape of their technique. Yes, breaking the balls is all about power. We are trying to hit the pack as hard as we can. We're trying to hit the cue ball hard to be able to open up the pack. But if you try and hit it too hard, you reach back, you lose all your shape, you lose complete control of your technique and you miss strike that cue ball because you've tried to hit it too hard, then you're not gonna have the contact on the pack that you need. You're not gonna get the power going through your pack and it's gonna be a complete waste. What you need to do is get your technique right and time it well. And once you start getting that technique right, you can then start to ramp up the power as you practice. But if you try and hit it too hard straight away, you're gonna end up with bad results. Where you place the cue ball is really important. I see way too many players just grab the cue ball, place it somewhere on the break line, and then get down on the shot. The problem is, if you put the ball on the break line and you don't have a cue action that can reach the break line, by the time you're actually past your sweet spot of the, the, the cueing action at the moment of impact, so you're almost decelerating the moment of impact, which is no good, and you're not gonna get a good quality of strike. If you look at it for me, I can't reach that because I do have a short cue action. If you look at how far forward my hand, my cue and my arm have to be at the moment of impact, it's past the, the, the perfect point of contact. So for me, I actually have to bring the cue ball back almost two inches to make sure that when I strike the cue ball, it is at the optimum position on the table um, and it's in the sweet spot of my cueing action. If I have it all the way forward, I'm, it's just gonna be a disaster for me. So you have to play around with your, your own technique. You have to find out what the sweet spot is for you, but don't just grab the cue ball and place it on the line as a matter of habit because it may be doing you a lot more harm than good. Quality of contact on that front ball is so important. If you, catch, if you don't catch that front ball full, the power that you generate on the break isn't gonna go through the pack. If you catch it half ball, only half of that power actually goes through the pack. So all that time trying to hit the ball as hard as you can to generate that power through the pack is gonna be completely gone. You have to try and get that good quality of contact on the front ball to be able to split them properly. I see too many players not racking the balls up properly. Yes, I know at the elite level on TV, there's referees that rack the balls for you, but in nearly every other tournament you're gonna to play in or practice match, whatever it might be, you rack your own balls. And if you don't rack them correctly, you're already starting at a disadvantage. Because if you don't manage to get all the balls touching, then the balls aren't gonna break open. You have to really take your time, place the balls in the right place, and then make sure, push them up, make sure that all the balls are touching so that when, the, when you contact the pack, they'll open properly. If there's any gaps in the pack here, they'll just not open it. It will be what we call a dead pack. So really take your time, make sure you get the perfect rack so that when you break them, they will open up properly. I see too many players just not giving the break the respect it needs or deserves. I see that they rack the balls up quickly, quick walk around the table, chalk of the cue, head down and off they go. Almost breaking in the same motion as getting down on the shot, not really cueing it properly and you just not giving it any respect and then they complain about getting bad splits. If you have to give the break the respect it deserves, it is just about the most important shot you're gonna play in every single frame of pool. It sets the tone for every single frame. So you have to get down on it and cue it properly. You need to give it as much respect as you would for a tough eight ball down the cushion to win a frame. You have to give it that level of respect. Otherwise, you're just gonna end up with terrible splits just like I have here. Give the break the respect it deserves. I see a lot of players lose control of the shape of their body because of their head. If their head starts to move, then the rest of the body has to move as well. Then your technique is completely shot. And if you're moving on the shot and your technique goes, you cannot get good quality of contact on the cue ball, which means you have no chance of contacting that pack well. The minute you start moving on the shot, it's just impossible to consistently do it. 
I see a lot of players, they get themselves nicely in for the break, but then they're reaching for extra power, their head moves. And you see, if my head moves, the rest of my body has to follow. And if that happens, you just can't consistently get the contact. What you have to try and do, I know you're reaching for extra power, but you have to try and keep that head still to allow your technique to stay in, in complete control. And then drive the power through the pack. If you can avoid those mistakes, then you're going to give yourself a really good chance of making a ball, splitting them far and wide and giving yourself a great chance to win the frame.